everyone. Today it's one month and a half since I moved to Mexico, uh, to Playa del Carmen, and I want to share with you the best beaches I found so far. But not only, stay until the end and you will also discover what is Sargasso and uh, how to manage it if it comes on your vacation. But we will start this video with Cancun, the city you normally fly into when you come to Yucatan and Caribbean coast. Cancun means the nest of snakes in Maya language. This is one of the biggest cities of Yucatan Peninsula and the most famous on the Caribbean coast of Mexico. Actually, it's a famous resort, so it's quite modern. Most of the architecture you can see here was built a couple of decades ago or it's still under construction. It's the paradise of all-inclusive hotels and it's actually a very beautiful natural area. That's why a couple of decades ago it was decided to invest in this area. But look how city is made uh, up. So there is a downtown, um, which is really nothing special. Uh, and then there is the hotel zone, Zona Hotelera, which is on the beautiful shore with the amazing water and a lagoon in the middle. But it's quite far from the downtown. So if we want to go from a random point in the center of the downtown to, for example, a famous public beach, Playa del Finis, it will take us about 40 minutes. Uh, so it's quite a lot, as you can see. The beach worth it. Uh, look, it's a very nice sand and especially the water. The color of the water is pretty unique. It's super, super uh, blue uh, turquoise, very unusual color. And in this particular beach, which is a free public beach, uh, there are quite a lot of waves. So think about it uh, before you go there. On the same coast, there are also many other beaches with less waves, but they are not public. So in order to enter, you need to be in this hotel or go through a beach club or come to this public beach and then uh, walk uh, a lot by the beach which is less comfortable, of course. In addition to all-inclusive resorts, here in Cancun you can find some very trendy restaurants, like this one, which is called Funky Geisha, and it's located in a very beautiful place uh, in this uh, natural-like design, and even a crocodile lives here in Lagoon. We haven't seen a crocodile, but we've seen this uh, beautiful installation by the South African artist Daniel Popper. So it's a very beautiful place to have uh, a dinner and watching the sunset, but also quite expensive. Uh, the prices here are European and US-like. And here is the night face of the party Cancun. Looks a little bit like Las Vegas, but a very small one. So considering all together, Cancun is not my choice uh, because the city is divided into two parts and it's not walkable, you have to move by car and I don't find it good when you stay for long term. But if you come here for vacation, you have quite a big budget and you want to stay always in a protected hotel area and to have a nice beach, maybe it's your option. For me, this city is very new and also looks uh, quite artificial. That's why we stay in Playa del Carmen. Uh, every time in the video I say why I like it. But uh, together with all these pros, there is also one con. 
and uh, this cone is quite big because it's the beach so actually the beach of Playa del Carmen is not the best one and that's why we are discovering the best beaches you know these paradise looking beaches outside of the city the first month we rented the car uh, but this month we are on foot both to save money and also because here in Playa you can actually walk everywhere and in order to go to different beaches we use Colectivo Colectivo it's kind of a mini bus um, which goes to different directions and uh, you need to take uh, the one which goes to your direction and you can stop it uh, anywhere on the way so in order to go to the beaches I will advise you right now you should take the bus in the direction of Tulum so these three beaches here I want to tell you about they are real treasures uh, some of them were advised us by locals and you won't find them on Lonely Planet or in other guides so it's kind of exclusive content enjoy it's already the second time we came to Akuman because the time before we liked it a lot and so we decided to repeat the experience it's not so far from Playa del Carmen, it takes about 40 minutes to get there. Look at this water and this beach. Isn't it amazing? Don't forget your mask because you can see a lot of fish here as well. I want to remember you, remind you that this is a protected natural area, so to enter the beach you need to pay, unless you stay in one of the hotels right here. Uh, and today we also did snorkeling uh, with the guide and we've seen many turtles and rayfish so it was super cool. I would advise Akuma Beach to anyone who likes snorkeling because it was really cool and also who just wants to stay quiet on the beach and relax. Puja is a very beautiful beach and it's quite easy to get there, uh, whether by car or by uh, Colectivo, again. It's really inexpensive, it costs uh, 50 peso per person, which is like two bucks and a half. And look at the water, it's really super super warm and transparent. It's like a swimming pool, but 100 times better. In terms of the water and of the beach itself, I think it's uh, the best we've seen so far in the Caribbean and also I like the fact that it's not the city so you feel closer to nature uh, it's so huge that even when people come after lunch still there is enough space to everyone but uh, be aware about uh, the sun it's uh, very few shade here and you can get burnt if you are bored you can try to get uh, the coconut from the tree but it's not easy at all Another amazing beach, Palmu, and here there is a restaurant which is also very very good. Uh, by the way, uh, this beach is half private, so in order to get there you need to tell that you are going to the restaurant and then you will have no problems. 
It's closer than other two to Playa del Carmen, which again makes it uh, the best option, in my opinion. It takes you less than half an hour. And that's why I love this beach. First of all, it's a very, very quiet place. There are really few people, uh, so you're not uh, gonna be disturbed. You can come here to just relax and uh, read a book, for example. Ciao! I took fins uh, to train my back kick for a diving course. And this is a very good place to do it because the water here is very, very quiet. There are no waves at all. So the beach is much smaller and uh, also the water is very transparent, but it looks pretty different from uh, the one we've seen in Akumal or in uh, Shpuha, but that's because the bottom is different. Uh, so here, another good thing about this beach is that you can actually see some fish right close to the shore so again don't forget to take the mask with you and you will get a great day in this very very nice place so if you are really a beach fan and you want to spend your vacation in uh, one of these places of course you can find the hotels which are close to these beaches but keep in mind that this, these places are really small, uh, there is no infrastructure, there is nothing to do except for the beach, and also in order to go anywhere you need to take the car or the bus, uh, and also keep in mind that uh, there is no entertainment at all. looks like uh, the paradise but it's not always like that and i'm not speaking only about these annoying birds which wake us up every morning i'm also speaking about the fact that uh, in october november it's still quite a rain season actually it doesn't cause us any problems but sometimes there are the days when it's raining whole day or half of the day. Of course, in these occasions, it's not the perfect time for the beach. But don't worry about that. Uh, usually it's maybe once in a week only. Another and the real problem for you beach lovers is sargasso. Sargasso is a type of a seaweed which comes here to the Caribbean coast and every year it's the bigger problem. Today we came to Puerto Morelos, which is very cute, it's like a small village and there is a beach which is, should be nice in theory and I wanted to snorkel but as you can see sometimes there can be a problem with Sargosa? Sargasso. Sargasso. <laughs> it's a very unpredictable event and uh, this seaweed just comes from time to time. It can happen also during your vacation unfortunately maybe it will be just a couple of days or maybe it won't happen but when it happens it's really not the good time to go to the beach but there is one solution sales people here assured us that there is no sargasso there in the reef so we decided to go to snorkel we take the boat in 20 minutes and let's see if it's really transparent as they promise the promoters didn't lie. Once you go off the shore by boat, you come to the beautiful transparent sea and you can snorkel and today I've seen some rays and also a small shark, which was very, very nice. This is all for today, uh, but very soon I will publish uh, a new video uh, about the main tips to consider when you come to Mexico and the advices. And also on my channel, you can find many other things about Mexico, Playa del Carmen and Yucatan in general. So don't forget to subscribe and watch other videos and have a nice trip to Mexico if you come. <laughs>